Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Wahakadash, Brakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your seed goes back to a so-called Negro, a so-called, if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you could perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh, in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh, in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. All right, it's a brother Karetzaza, and I'm back with another video epistle. Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. This is going to be the book of Isaiah, chapter 66. We're going to start at verse 13. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when you see this, your heart, meaning your mind, shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb, and the hand of the Lord Yahweh shall be known towards his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies, all right, his righteous judgment, let's get this word for indignation, H2194, uh, to denounce, express indignation, be indignant, to have indignation, be angrily, all right, to express indignation in speech, all right, to show anger, all right, uh, a primitive root properly to foam at the mouth that is to be enraged, abhor, abominable, angry, defy indignation. Hey, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Shai. He, he's enraged, all right, at his enemies, all right? It says, let's get that again. And the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his servants, all right, and his indignation towards his enemies. So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemar Shai, is going to be enraged at his enemies, but he is going to take care of his servants, which are the elect, all right? Let's go here. This is, and we're going to come back to Isaiah, but this is going to be the book of St. Luke. All right. We're going to grab chapter 18. We're going to grab verses 7 and 8. Uh, I'm going to highlight it. Bear with me. Uh, we'll use that. Oh. Um, let me see here. Bear with me, Akim. Okay, kind and it reads, and shall not the Most High Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? All right, a hey, those that sigh and cry, Ezekiel chapter nine, in verse four. All right, put a, a set a mark. Upon them, the mark of exemption of those that sign that cry. Those are the elect. Verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. And yes, he's going to find faith in the elect. All right. The 144,000 men. Okay. So with that, let's grab one more precept. Uh... This this time we're gonna go into uh, the apocrypha, the apocrypha, 
uh, this is going to be the book of 2 Ezra, uh, chapter 15, and we'll start at verse 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. And the Heavenly Father is going to avenge, all right, the elect. His, he's going to avenge his servants. And you other people, you're going to pay dearly, all right? Uh, so going back into, uh, let me see here, Isaiah, Isaiah 66. Um, Isaiah chapter 66. All right, where do we leave off? Uh, oh yeah, and it says, and it's indignation towards his enemies. All right, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. All right, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, all right, but I just want to grab, I want to grab one more precept, we're going to go back into the Apocrypha for, for the part in verse 14, the latter part where it says, and his indignation towards his enemies, a hey, great misery is coming upon this place, all right, to those of you who walk in great pride, all right, whether you are Israelite or whether you are heathen, okay, still in the book of um, 2 Ezra. This time we're going to go to uh, chapter 8 and grab verse 50. All right. And it reads, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. All right. Self-explanatory. All right. So now going back into Isaiah uh, chapter 66, and this time we're going to grab Verse 15 again, for behold, the Lord Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh, <clears throat> Yahweh by Shem Shai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right. Hey, those chariots going to be shooting concentrated. Uh, they're going to be shooting laser beams, which are which is concentrated uh, fire. All right. <clears throat> That's what a laser beam is. All right, you're going to have those ICBM, those intercontinental ballistic missiles being shot over here. All right. Hey, the Lord is going to uh, let, let it let loose. All right. Uh, verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be many. All right. Many people are going to die. All right. Many great miseries are coming upon this earth. All right. Uh, let's go here. Um, let me see here. Let's go to the book of Malachi. Chapter four and verse one. And it reads, uh, I want to highlight it. All right, this time I'm going to use, i use this right here. For behold, this is Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. All right. Hey, and this is talking about the wicked of Esau. Edom, all right. You, you got the wicked among our people that are going to get burnt up. But Esau going to get it twice. Let's go here. And we'll close out with this. This is going to be the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, which there's only one chapter. And we're going to grab verses 
You know what? It's like it. Uh, we'll just go straight to the point in verse 18. Um, I want to highlight this. And it reads, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, all right? And the house of Joseph a flame, all right? The house of Jacob is synonymous for the southern kingdom, all right? And the house of Joseph for the northern kingdom, all right? Southern kingdom being the so-called Negroes, the northern kingdom being the so-called Hispanics and Latinos, and Native Americans and Seminole Indians. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken it. Not my not my uh judgment, not the next man's judgment, the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai's judgment. All right, so with that, you know what? Lord willing, this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Koh Lord Yimla, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Wahawakakwadash, Brakatham. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well, who taught me this truth, and who labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe. All right. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.